God is good. And all the time, I like to believe that as Christians, among the very primal wishes of us is that whatever we request of God, He wouldn't say no, and that immediately, in our best interest, He will grant them, isn't it? And oftentimes, when we present something to God over and over again and we don't get the answers, we become troubled and distressed. There are times that we even think that it's probably out of our sinfulness that God hasn't answered our prayers yet. But Jesus in the Gospels today reminds us that our Christian journey is not one where we give what we want to God, but the subjection of our wills to His will, so that we rather, on the other hand, accept what He has for us, but not what we want Him to do for us. There are a good number of us Christians who go to God and wish that the way of living the Christian life would be as they want it. So, Lord, I want to be a Christian, but in this particular mode, I want a Christian where it's like question and answer relationship. I come to you with a question, immediately you give me an answer. I come to you with a request, immediately you grant it to me. So, if you look at our world today, there are people who think that Christianity is a kind of elixir or a kind of potion where you have to apply to all sickness or all problems you encounter. So once you have a problem, you go to church and say, God, I want that, then immediately God gives you that. But then the call to Christian life is a call where the individual Christian subjects his will to the will of God. And that's what Jesus is reminding James and John. When they heard that Jesus is moving on to Jerusalem, knowing that he's going to suffer, they didn't want any of it, but they wanted all the success that comes with it. So in their minds, let one of us stay at your right and the other at your left. And Jesus reminded them that to follow your will or your want and get it as you want it, comes with a far greater sacrifice you may not be able to pay. So he professed a question to them. Are you ready to drink from the cup I have to drink? Or be baptized with the baptism I have to receive? Then they go ahead and say, yeah, we want it. It's okay, all right, you want it, that's fine. But then, the Christian life is not projecting of what you want, but the acceptance of what the master has in mind. So he says, for whatever sacrifice you may go through, but then the final point is that it is what I will for you, but not the other way around. So as we come before God, we should have that readiness to accept that God has a better plan, God has a better view, and he has something in store. And even to, to buttress that point is the fact that this very life we live is not ours. So if you listen to the first reading, Peter's first statement was that, remember that you have been bought at a price. Your ransom was paid, not with anything perishable, but with the blood of the lamb. So as it were, within your very self, the life you live is not yours. It belongs to God. So if, if anything you want to progress, the first point of contact must be whoever possesses that life. Let's say you go through a medical complication and somebody offers you his or her organ as a replacement. I like to believe that from that point forth, you'll be conscious of the life you live because you know that you are living the life of another person with the person's organ right within your system. Similarly, as Christians, we encounter Christ on a daily basis and even have his blood flowing through us. For us, Catholics, we commune with him in the Eucharist, so each and every day we, we live Jesus in our very bodies of flesh. So, it will be appropriate that if you want to take any step in life, we go to him and say, Master, what is your will for me? So, Jesus makes it simple. On the greatest night, where he suffers the greatest ordeal, the Lord left me alone, I want that. Left me alone, I want to sit at your right, I want to sit at your left. Left me alone, I want life to go this easy. But in all this, 
not my will but yours if only we could at all times no matter how bad or good the condition may be subject our wills to god we will see that he has a better plan for us than what we even think of may god bless us amen